And it's all based on one fundamental idea, which is that power differentials, especially ones where whites are in power, are an evil and that our most urgent task is to battle those power differentials. Now, many people would agree that you want to battle the power differentials, but there's always been a certain kind of person who's thought that that should be at the center of what we think about, of our art, of the way we think of morality, that all of that needs to be centered more than most people would think. But what those people are is scary. Starting in April and May 2020, people like that, if they didn't get their way, started calling other people white supremacists on Twitter. And a great many people who have groceries to buy and careers to forge and kids to raise just figure they would rather pretend to agree with this radical agenda rather than be called something really nasty in the public square. I didn't like it. And I thought somebody needed to say something about it. And that's what woke racism was about.